Hello, my name is Christine de Smets and I'm here today for Oncologia Brazil. I'm working at the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium. Today I presented the results on the characterization of metastatic lobular breast cancer. During the past few years, a lot of effort has been done to characterize primary lobular breast cancer at the genomic, gene expression and immune level. However, so far, we still know very little about metastatic lobular breast cancer, and this is why we initiated our study. We actually assembled a cohort of metastatic lobular breast cancer patients across six different institutions in Europe. And we collected material from the primary and the metastasis from these patients. What we wanted to do is to characterize these samples at the immune level and the genomic level together with the clinical and pathological data. Our findings are the following. First, we were looking at the metastatic uh, mutational landscape of these tumors. And what we found actually is that metastatic lobular tumors are really different at the genomic level from their ductal counterparts. For instance, we found some mutations which were less uh, present in, in, uh, in lobular tumors, like p53 and GATA3 mutations, but then some mutations which were more present, like CDH1, HER2, and FOXA1, and TBX3 mutations. Second, using actually uh, the, the unique cohort that we had of matched primary and metastatic samples, we were able to look at alterations, genomic alterations, which were private to the metastasis and could help us to explain what was actually driving progression of these tumors or what was driving the endocrine resistance that we were seeing in these patients since the vast majority received endocrine treatment. And what we saw actually is that there were some mutations which were private to the metastasis and these include, for example, mutations in the AKT1, HER2, ESR1, MAP3K1 or P53 uh, genes. Also, uh, what we found at the copy number level was that actually there were um, uh, P53 deletions which were found in 20% of these patients. But also we found that uh, in the metastasis we could see some private uh, other events which were very interesting such as uh, P10 deletions, cycling D1 or cycling E1 amplifications. Another part of the result, the third part, was actually that we looked at these immune infiltrations between the primary and the metastasis of these metastatic lobular uh, breast tumors. We noticed that the primary tumors from these recurring patients had lower levels of infiltrating lymphocytes than a consecutive series of primary uh, lobular tumors. And when we compare the matched primary and metastas metastatic samples in our uh, cohort, we saw that in the metastasis there were even lower level of uh, lymphocytes. Finally, we were looking at uh, whether there were some clinical, pathological or genomic um, variables which would be associated with survival. And we identified some clinical variables which were associated with survival, but also some uh, genomic alterations. And for instance, we found that HER2 uh, mutations were associated with a shorter uh, relapse-free survival, and also, for instance, that P53 mutations were associated with a, uh, an adverse prognosis. However, all these findings would still need to be validated in larger cohorts, and we really encourage people to, to uh, collect more of these matched primary and metastatic samples within the same patients to better understand really what is driving tumor progression and endocrine resistance.